Welcome to another show, I'm Sid and in today's video I'll be going over this effect which is your basic enlarged head animation filter. It's already available on my profile so if you want to check it out for yourself, try it before you buy. Go ahead, follow me on Instagram and you can see that over there. Uh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit like, leave a comment and subscribe so you can stay notified when I upload new videos. Just past 500 subscribers which is awesome, thanks very much, I appreciate all of you. Uh, so yeah, basically this is a mouth open, head gets bigger mouth open, head gets smaller effect. These are all the patches involved. It's very simple. So I'm just gonna pause this now, create a new project and we can get started immediately. So I'll switch back over here to the face camera. See me again. Hello, I'm back. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a face mesh to our scene. So we now have a face mesh here nested inside of our face tracker. First thing you wanna do with that is under properties, we're gonna uncheck the eyes and the mouth so that they're not tracking like this, and instead you get this like completely flat cube uh, checkerboard effect. Now we're gonna add a material layer, and we're gonna rename that face mesh just for simplicity, just to keep things clean. And we're gonna come back up here to face tracker, and under our properties again, we're gonna enable the texture extraction. So we click that plus button, and now we'll have a face tracker texture down here in our assets panel. So if we come back down to face mesh now, we have our face mesh texture, we can add the face tracker texture here, which as you can see, doesn't match perfectly with my skin tone or fit well on my face. That's because the shader type is standard. If we switch over to flat, and as you can see, it creates a sort of neutral lighting effect and per, what do I, what do I want to make? Pushes the original tracking, the original video of my face tracked onto the, mar, uh, the mesh that we've created. So now everything looks good. I can hit refresh and everything kind of lines up. It looks good but you can even see down here that is actually the original video underneath with a projected mask of my face sitting on the mesh on top. But it all looks nice, so nothing really to worry about there. Okay, so next we're gonna open our patch editor up and we're gonna drag our face tracker inside of here. That creates these three patches. We have our face finder, our face select, and our face tracker. They're all together, we'll collect them up, tidy them up a bit. And from here, we're gonna come out from our face and we're gonna add a mouth open patch. So now we have our face tracker patches connected to our mouth open. You have the option of mouth open like mine is. Open gets bigger, open again gets smaller, or mouth openness. So the more you open your mouth, the wider your mouth is open, the more the effect is taking place. And then as you close your mouth, it starts to like undo itself essentially. But you can choose. For this one, uh, I'm gonna be using mouth open. So I'm gonna come out from mouth open and I'm gonna add a pulse. And from our pulse turned on, we're gonna add a switch, which toggles between two events. So we have our pulse, which uh, so we have our face tracker here connected to our mouth open. That's connected to a pulse, which activates this switch, which is gonna be connected to a second pulse over here, which is gonna come again from turned on outwards, and we're gonna attach an animation because basically the mouth, uh, the head getting larger and scaling up and down is an animation. So we're gonna connect that up now. Animation. We're gonna come out from progress to transition. Um, right now the transition is at vector three because we're gonna be uh, using the scale up here. And as you can see, it has X, Y, and Z value properties, uh, values. So we have X, Y, and Z value vector three here. But obviously you can adjust that depending on what you're doing. If you just wanted to change the color uh, on open mouth, then you could do that. If you wanted to uh, like imp impact some sort of number or any, any variation of vectors, depending on how many uh, dimensions your object or uh, asset has it's up to you for this for the purposes of this we're using vector 3 because it lines up well and i'm going to come back over to our face mesh now and take under transformations the scale option right now everything's set at 111 which is the default that's the actual size i guess of my head but we're going to take that and we can create a patch out of it and we're going to connect that up right here so now as you can see the default positions here for start and end are to start at zero which is not great because everything else, because we originally start here at one. So we're gonna change those by default to be one. So everything starts at one and everything ends at two. Okay, so now we have our big head, but the actual uh, interactions themselves aren't working right. Okay, or maybe they are, but here's the problem. In our animation here, we have our pulse connected to animation, which is playing the thing. So if I refresh, then you'll see I start with a small head. When I open my mouth, it gets larger. But when I open my mouth again, 
nothing happens it stays there you can see even this all of this is activating so it is actually working but it can't reverse because we haven't got anything connected to this reverse part of our animation loop so we're going to come here to turned off and we're going to connect that up to our reverse so now when i open my mouth my head gets smaller <laughs> i thought that had, I, thought, I didn't think that worked for a second there so now i hit refresh give you guys a better look uh, this is the whole thing. I open my mouth. I close I open my mouth. It scales up to two. It scales down to one Obviously you can adjust this you can play around with the size you can literally make this as big as you want so Like I mean you can barely see it. I'll probably have to even zoom out on here for you to see but you can literally make this as big as you want uh, And have it go all the way back to zero again, but we'll leave it at two just so it makes sense from a video perspective uh, yeah, but this is pretty much the entire effect. Basically what I've gone over here is face tracking, projecting your original face onto a face mesh so that you can create that illusion of, uh, like, so that it isn't the complete face mesh uh, style that you that I've showed off in other videos where it's, where it's like uh, just with different colored stripes and things. Basically, you can project your own face onto a face mesh and then adjust that, the properties of that in any way you like. Like you can, you can literally move it. So where's the face mesh here? Like I can move this over here. So now this face mesh is still on here, but you know, it's down here now. See what I mean? Like the point of this is just to play around. I originally made this face filter uh, and the big head filter on Instagram as a joke. Like I was just playing around testing different features and I realized that I could enlarge my own head. It, it made me laugh. So I turned it into a filter. This is actually the most popular filter on my entire Instagram profile. I think right now it's at more than half a million impressions, which is mind boggling to me. Like I, I, couldn't, I couldn't believe it when I saw that number. Uh, but yeah, the point I'm trying to make is play around, experiment. Don't worry too much about what you're making or why you're making it. Just do it for fun and put things out there because you never know what will be successful. You never know what people will enjoy or appreciate. And it's always worth like having a go. Because this obviously seems like a very simple filter, but a large number of people on Instagram have enjoyed it and have, have for whatever reason, decided to use it in their own stories and posts. But anyway, I'm getting uh, off topic a little bit. This is the big head filter. I hope you enjoyed this video. New videos are coming soon. I'm trying to keep it as regular as possible. Go subscribe to my channel. Look at all my videos. Watch all my playlists. Uh, like, help me grow. Thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate all of you and have a nice day. Peace.